time. It is sunset time. It is almost awards time here at the 2010 Puma Moth Worlds uh, uh, Championship. Uh, this is the Anarchy Report. And once again, I'm here with Jean-Pierre Ziegert, <laughs> mon ami de, de uh, Lake Geneva and Switzerland. And man, uh, it's been a long week. How do you feel after this week? I feel uh, quite exhausted because uh, it was tough. We had 14 races, and uh, but it was nice sailing, and uh, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. I really had a lot of fun. You know, and and uh, you know, on the land was a great time. The, the club was great, and the, you know the, the conditions left a lot to be desired. But what are you going to do? Well, uh, um, we just need to enjoy what's happening here and uh, just sail every day, uh, each after the other one, and. Uh, Enjoy the club facilities, food was great, uh, people very nice, ambience as, a, as a usual in the math class is great. Now, you had some rough races, are you, are you happy with where you finished? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm pretty happy what I finished, I finished 14th, I would be so happy to get in the 10th, but that's okay, I, I can live on with that. And, some and, tough competition. And, yes, some tough competition, when you, when you look out through the, the rankings and you see all the top 10, say, ooh, where, where should I pop in? Where am I, I mean, fit? Yeah. yeah, where am I gonna fit? And uh, basically, I haven't trained so much and um, I haven't uh, spent so much time on the water like some others and uh, I'm basically quite new in the class. So, you know, gets times and maybe I was a bit too heavy or, you know, it's bits and pieces. You're and, certainly uh, not the size of Simon Payne. Exactly. All right. All right, let's move to another subject here, Jean-Pierre. Um, you've got a special regatta. We've had 42 boats here. You think you might have 60, 70 or more boats in Samoritz. Yes. Talk okay. to me about the European Championship, which should be, uh, uh, I mean, from what you've told me, from what I heard around the block, this should be a hell of an event. Let's talk about it. Yeah, so uh, we will host the 2010 European Championship in Silva Palana, Lake Switz, Lake uh, St. Moritz. It's in uh, up in the mountain. 2,000 meter high uh, in a valley and uh, we have a thermal, thermal wind every day 20 knots it's great really you, when the like when Lake the Garda wind, I mean like, like like Lake Garda smaller so you can have a you can set yourself everywhere around the lake and watch the racing it's great so if we put a camera on a hill we can watch the whole thing exactly really? you, can, you can watch from the from the, the hill on the side, from the path, there is a path on one side of the lake. It's beautiful, you get a lot of windsurf uh, on the south, uh, north part of the lake. The wind is blowing from noon to five o'clock, around 20 knots, sometimes up to 20, 23, 25 knots, and it's just great racing. Now, it's, it's not cheap to put a regatta on in, in Switzerland. Tell us what kind of stuff you've got prepared for the people that make the trek. I know some Americans want to do it. There'll be plenty of Brits and Germans and hopefully yes. all the Swiss and the Italians. Yeah. Uh, the, these fleets are growing up and it's not too too far for most of them to go. What are they going to expect from the regatta? So we, we are offering uh, Dash for Cash Slalom and that will be probably held the uh, weekend, the Sunday before the starting of the race, like in the, the worlds here in Dubai. So we'll uh, offering... Uh, We'll try to get a $1,000 for the Dash for Cash you Salem. Yeah, we can do it. And then uh, we will have live tracking uh, oh, provided by Track Track from good, uh, good. Denmark. And uh, this is this will will provide all the World Wide Web a lot of coverage and a lot of availabilities, availabilities to, to watch the racing uh, really in real time in real time or after i mean you can you can get back and have a look of what you've made and where you lost places that's for the racers for the the, the competitors or uh, for the from some other folks who would like to have a look what of about, what happened what about off the water i mean i have no idea what it's like in civil plano is, is there is it a yacht club is there parties is it the, the hotels nice what's the story okay we got nice hotels up there it's um, mostly five stars hotels but we we did find a good deal for the sailors and uh, there will be actually the Silvatlana Lake is a very small lake without any facilities. The yacht club is located. It's like a park, isn't it? It's like a park. The yacht club is located in Saint Moritz, and uh, there we will have the, the slalom. So the, the Sunday before the start of the, the event, we'll have a slalom on Saint Moritz Lake, which is much smaller. There you have also the World Match Race Tour, uh, and then on Silvatlana Lake 
in Seals, that's the south part of the lake, there is a beach club, that's a restaurant who provide pizza, pasta, stuff like that. And there we'll have a tent and uh, we'll have um, probably some food for the competitors before racing or they will be able to uh, feed themselves so uh, in the restaurant. In, you bring in a tent to this park yeah. and, and basically have a regatta headquarters, Exactly. a temporary regatta headquarters. Yeah, and uh, one thing is cool in Sol Plana is the, the temperature of the lake is really nice. It's fresh. What do you mean by fresh? Ah, you will discover. Oh boy. <laughs> now, uh, let's, 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 I've heard rumors that we might see maybe another builder or two with new boats at the Europeans. Do you know anything about that? Um, they might be some, I, I, I think honestly that uh, some, as the moth class is a box rule, means everybody can build his own moth. Sure. So there will be some some person who would like to build their own boat. So of course we'll get boat like that. But a new builder, I don't know. I, actually, I don't it's know. It's really. hard to match Andrew. He's made something really nice. Yeah. He's, he made something really nice, uh, which is affordable. Although we think it's expensive, but it's 30 kilo of the carbon and we hit 15 knots upwind we we are banging 20 more than 20 25 knots downwind so it's a great machine it's a racing machine it is uh on the edge and it's great so nobody has to die it before the europeans no all right i think no. that's what they want to hear yeah no 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 guys just get ready get your wetsuit or even dry suit with you and uh it will be very cool and where can people find out more about the uh, Europeans? We will uh, we will host uh, all the information on the um, on the um, s website of the association. Address? The mod. Yeah, it's uh, nah. mod.ch. That moth.ch. Moth that will be yeah. that's Swiss. Okay. That's that's in Switzerland. Tell me another thing. Yeah. Sailing news. Sailing news. You just launched a U.S. website? Yeah, we launched it. We sailing launch it. news. Yeah, us yeah, sailing. which I'm normally, I look at new sailing websites and I go, I will crush them. Uh, but you guys are doing some, some special stuff. Tell us about that. So we're providing uh, each uh, person who is vid visiting us a news every morning uh, sharp at 7. That's actually, that's our uh, rule in uh, Europe. At uh, 7 a.m. every morning you get a resume of all what's happening Doing it by sailing. email or is it just on the website no it's just on the website we don't want to uh, you know pinch the people yeah, with yeah, uh, yeah. with the news everywhere Do you have Every an rss feed yeah we've got rss feed uh, and uh, now we launched a uh, platform for us and uh, it's it's making very good progress and uh, daily we have five to ten news on what's happening all over all around the world and especially north america um, about sailing right. and uh, for folks who are in Switzerland uh, sailingnews.ch you've got it in English in French and in German okay. and sailing-news.us uh, is for uh, America all right well check out both of them and uh, yeah this isn't this is as far as I've seen and we follow it and maybe we'll be doing something with special with these guys soon but um, you know we need to see these guys we need to see people like you yeah. And I know you're writing yourself. I know you're there. We need to see young and young sailors and smart sailors and, and, and people who like adrenaline doing this stuff instead of the old guys looking to sell Rolexes and make a million dollars. You know? yeah. and, and, the, and the people who, is running, uh, the people who are running this, the website are people who are sailing. We are yeah. sailors. We are journalists. We are, we are seeking some information. And we basically uh, just keep on inf uh, uh, passing the information through. That's the, that's the point. All right. Well, check them out, moth.ch and sailing-news.us. And uh, it's been good to hang with you, man. It's been good to Thank finally meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, all right. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye.